few months ago, all I knew about the Lago Alien was that it was an out of this world looking and super expensive pistol. I knew it catered to the competition crowd and that it had the lowest bore axis of any other pistol in the world. But that's where it ended, and I had no idea just how special this pistol was. The more I researched the Alien, the more of an appreciation I developed for its genius design and the engineers behind it. I fell in love with the backstory, and I obsessed with trying to obtain one. What first got me was the fact that the Alien was built from the ground up as a completely unique design. In fact, it's likely the most important evolution in modern handguns in the last half century. Now whether or not other manufacturers start to adopt the concept and ideas behind this masterpiece is yet to be determined. One thing is for sure though, the Alien wins out on innovation, ingenuity, and being completely original. For years, the browning design of tilt-locking barrels has dominated the landscape. Manufacturers like Glock, Sig, and countless others have served us hundreds of pistols with this design and very little that sets each model apart from one another. Sure, they can have different features, ergonomics, or differing levels of quality, but at the end of the day, they are all a take on the same pistol design that dates back over 100 years. Laugo Arms came in with a completely different basis for their experiment. They looked hard at the HK P7 and they decided to build a foundation that would expand upon the ahead of its time HK pistol. They started with a similar gas operated and fixed barrel, much like that of the P7, but they flipped it upside down so that the gas block is above the barrel instead of below it. They incorporated a very similar piston and recoil rod that reciprocates off of a delayed gas blowback. What this achieved was the lowest bore axis of any pistol in the world, and they could have stopped there, but they didn't. They went on to try to solve the issue of reducing reciprocating mass. They designed a slide that wraps around the barrel and gas system, but is independent of the top rail and sights. This achieved two goals. It reduced the slide's footprint and weight, and it created a fixed sighting system that does not reciprocate with the slide. I repeat, the damn sights don't move. This is another jaw dropper for competition shooters, but did they stop there? No way. Instead of adopting a striker system or traditional hammer design that would have required linkage to wrap around the grip, Laugo opted for an inverted hammer that's fixed to the top of the rail and sits right above the trigger. Using a simple plunger mechanism, the trigger pushes the plunger up against the sear in order to release the hammer. What this resulted in is quite possibly one of the best triggers of any pistol in the world. At less than 3 pounds with nearly no take up or over travel and one of the shortest resets I've ever seen, this trigger will leave your draw on the floor every time you pull it. With all of that said, you should now see why I'm so thoroughly impressed with this pistol and its creators. They thought of just about every aspect of the shooting experience and any way possible to enhance each one. No gimmicks, no odd features, just pure innovation. This results in one of the flattest shooting pistols on the planet that looks and feels like something not of this world. The weight is excellent, solid yet not overbearing at 35 ounces unloaded. The grip is ergonomically essential with aggressive 25 lines per inch checkering on the front and back straps. You also get G10 grip inserts on the sides. Originally, the Alien comes with aggressive golf ball textured grips made by VZ. I opted for VZ's Alien grips because, come on. How in the hell does it not make sense for Alien Grips to be on the Alien? They also look more in tune with the rest of the Alien-like design characteristics of the pistol. The magazine release is extended and well textured. The slide release is pronounced and in the perfect location for easy access. The slide serrations are not only beautiful, but extremely deep and functional. The iron sights come equipped with a red fiber optic up front and fully adjustable blacked out and serrated rears. The recoil impulse is very different on this thing. With the unusual high grip, 
Along with the ultra low bore axis, it makes each shot feel like the gun is nudging back into your palm. It's a little bit more pop than you're used to with a 9mm, but straight back into your palm instead of over your wrist. That keeps the nose incredibly flat and it stays on target with ease. You can tell, it wants to go very, very fast. And it rewards you if you give it what it wants. To add just a little bit more weight up front, I opted for this Viridian X5L weapon light and laser. As you can see, it sits perfectly flush with the muzzle and trigger guard, which gives it a nice look and even more functionality. What can I say? This pistol looks as sexy as it shoots and the history behind it gives it more character than any other I've ever reviewed. It's easy to say that it's my new favorite and it'll be interesting to see what Lago has in store with the new creator lineup of pistols. If you enjoyed this content, please leave a thumbs up. Be sure to share this video with your friends and subscribe to see more. Until next time, stay safe and may God bless the Republic.